Hey guys, today's video is about how to cut out images or part of images inside Affinity Designer version 2 using the Pixel Persona. And the first step, of course, is to import our images inside Affinity Designer. We have multiple ways to do so. The first way we can um, use to import images is using the place tool we find right here. So we first select our artboard because we want to make sure that our image is placed within this artboard. Then we can go to the place tool, click on it, select our image. For this video, I've chosen an orange image from freepick.com, click open, and then simply click on the selected artboard or object where we want to place the image inside, like this, for example. And we can zoom out and resize it so we can see it on the background inside our artboard. And the second possible way is to go simply to the file, select it and drop it within our artboard. That way we are also importing our image. And then you also have the possibility to let's make them the same size. You also have to have the possibility to go to file right here and click um, open and select the image and click open. And this way we are opening the image as a separate file, as the image file. And there's a main difference um, in those two types of importing images when it comes to cutting out parts of this image. Um, the difference is if you are directly opening an image like this inside Affinity Designer, you could also go to your image, right click, open with and then go with Affinity Designer. That's also a possibility if you do so and you are um, and you have a new file opened with your image, you can go directly to the pixel persona and start selecting and for example, deleting that's uh, directly possible. And if you go the way where you drop an image um, like we've done before, so with the place tool or by simply drag and drop, you are not able to directly um, cut out parts if you go to the pixel persona. So if we now select a part and want to remove it, so we click backspace, we're remo removing the complete, complete image. And um, the problem here is that the images um, when imported, that, uh, these ways are not uh, directly rasterized. And this image is rasterized automatically. You can see this with this little icon in the layers tab. So what we can do right here is simply let's deselect our selection, simply click on our image, go right click, go rasterize. You can also do this in the layers tab right here. Click right click rasterize and you see the icon changes. And now it's a pixel layer. We can delete this one because we only need one for our showcase. Before we jump back in, I just want to share something exciting with you. I've recently given my Gumroad store a full makeover. You will now find my Affinity Designer 2 course along with wallpaper packs and logo templates. And I'm constantly adding fresh digital products and new categories. So there's always something new to explore. Right now you can grab anything with 50% off using the code NEW50, but only until September 1st, 2025. The store link is down in the video description or you can head straight to audist.gumroad.com. All right, let's get back to the video. And if we now go to the pixel persona and start selecting, we can cut out parts of our image. So now for the cutout, we have um, different possibilities. We can use these geometric shapes to cut out parts. So like this, for example, we are currently in the subtraction mode. That's why it's subtracted. We can go to the add mode or to the new mode or to the intersect mode. We're going with the new, for example, if we now select and select again, we are always selecting a new um, part. If we go with add, we can add to this part. And if we use subtract, we can of course subtract parts and intersect, as you can see, it's intersecting. And we also have this for the lips and for those shapes. We could also use um, the freehand selection tool where we can use magnetic um, yeah, clipping like this, for example. It tries to automatically go around the edges of our image or of our cutout 
like this or we could go with um let's deselect it right real quick we could also go with polygonal something like this hold to move without in straight lines and then click again for straight lines and finish for the selection or we could go with completely freehand so like we had before with the polygonal and um, by uh, holding and clicking and those are the ways i typically don't use to cut out parts my favorite um, um, tool for cutting out parts of images or um, images is this one which is the flood select tool and this one tries to select everything with the same color or nearly the same color you can also set the tolerance right here and we are going with the mode new again and we can click right here and we see we are automatically selecting with the tolerance 10 percent we can also click and hold to move the tolerance down or up so up we see it gets smaller or down again it gets um yeah less selected and that way we are um we have a good starting point for then for example using the selection brush tool so we will start with this one make it close to our orange and then we can go with the selection brush tool right here we make sure that we are now adding to our um selection we are zooming in in this case i'm not selecting the orange i'm selecting everything else because i would just simply want to remove this and keep the orange but if we only want to cut out a part of an image we could only select the orange like this for example so the next step is trying to make this a little bit smaller so it's not that sensitive and we can then try to select those shadow parts because we don't want to keep those shadows in this case like this we can also use the effects inside affinity designer to um, add a shadow on our own so now as you can see we've moved a little bit inside the orange so we need to go with the subtract mode subtract again and continue with our selection like this and if we are finished, there is one important thing you can do. You can go refine to let the system refine your selection so you get better um, yeah, better curves, better um, cutouts. Simply click apply. And if you are cutting out um, yeah, very, very detailed parts like hair, for example, um, you can go with the refine again. You can select your brush size here or type it in, for example, 30. And you can go above the edges to um, recalculate your selection to refine it. But that's only necessary if you're using um, very um, complex parts or cutting out very complex parts like hair, for example. And you could also change your overlay in this case so it's better visible, for example, if uh, there is everything black which is not selected or white but in this case i like the overlay and then we click apply we can adjust it now because we've done some oh, with the subtract of course some um, selection inside our orange and then we can simply go with the backspace multiple times to also reduce um, some um, blur around the cutouts but not press too often on backspace because otherwise you would also reduce some of the edges of your cutout so you have to find a balance between um, clicking one to three times to reduce the shine outside and not clicking too often backspace to not uh, reducing the edges of your cutout and we could also now adjust a little bit this um, corner right here by going add and also reduce this and then going with subtract to subtract all of our selection and we can then go with the move tool change back to the designer persona and our cutout is finished we can resize it by holding down command so outside and center in our artboard and that's it for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.